of course, technology is important and is, it has brought us also advances, but it never solved the problem in the end. It always generated new problems, and that is actually also what updates mean. You can control with these little ships um, all uses of electricity and can measure the en energy that is used, and by that level out. But the question is, does it make sense to have such a centralized um, source and also it is somewhere in the desert and it will create, of course, also problems. And this plant can generate power, can transport water because trees do that anyway. And you can also climb along the structure, so it's also your mobility structure. And by these um, connection points, you can put them together, you can fill them up with dirt or with water, and then you can even build little structures or houses. I think it's an important question that it's not a technology that will solve the problem, but it's more a cultural question how people will deal with the city and live in it. There are technologies for, to solve almost any problem and there always have been these advances, but we should not wait for the moment that technology will save us, because in the end it's about people, if they use it, how they live, what they consume and um, how they use their city. And I think especially with problems faced like a traffic congestion, for example, in Bangalore, that's mainly a problem of how people use their city and not so much a problem of how many roads you have. How do we find a robust structure that is inclusive, open, free, but also progressive and prosperous? And I hope maybe that could be a step that we can work on together. Thank you very much.